Hi everyone. Um, so what I want to show you to do right now is how to make a graphite transfer sheet. Uh, you'll need to know how to do this or you'll, you might want to know how to do this in order to uh, do the next assignment more easily or the next few assignments more easily. Uh, in any case, you'll be using it on the specimen project and on the uh, cube rendering. So here's kind of how you do it. I think I can show you just in Photoshop. Normally this is the kind of thing I would just demo in person in class, but since we're not meeting this week. Um, so here's the idea. Take a piece of tracing paper. Don't take the layout pad or the marker paper. Uh, you want the thinner tracing paper. And so let's say this is our piece of tracing paper. Okay, so that's your piece of tracing paper. And what I want you to do is tape it down using masking tape to a uh, tape it down to a to a smooth surface. Make sure the surface is smooth underneath. Use use the masking tape. Make sure it's taped all the way across on all four edges. You'll understand why. Actually, you'll understand why if you don't do this. Um, so you've got it taped down to a nice smooth surface. Take your graphite uh, sharpener, you know, the, the lead holder thing. Remember how I told you guys not to, uh, not to dump the lead? So this is the little deal. Um, th this is why. Basically, if you open this up, you're, you will have accumulated a bunch of dust. And what you're going to do is open this thing up and then dump the dust kind of just all over this. Try and spread it around evenly. Just sprinkle it. If you don't have enough in there, what you might want to do is uh, take a uh, take an X-Acto knife and take probably about a 2B pencil um, and then shave it. Shave the graphite onto there if you need additional graphite. Um, in any case, what so you're going to be doing this and then I want you to take, oh wait, actually I shouldn't do this yet. Um, then you take, a on your supply list, there's a thing called rubber cement thinner, which is uh, also commonly known as Bestine. And Bestine, uh, the one thing I want to caution you about, there aren't many materials I would, I would say this about, but with the Bestine, be extremely careful how you use this. Um, Bestine is rubber cement thinner but it's basically a highly flammable very dangerous substance so don't use this stuff casually don't get it on try not to get it on your hands that kind of thing um, it's got a very low flash point so it's it's probably the most dangerous thing I ever asked my students to use so please be careful about it I don't ever want to hear of anything happening with one of my students so in any case this is Bestine rubber cement thinner um, once you've got all the dust on there, and let's say you've got a couple of cotton pads, either cotton balls or the little Webrel pads, either ones work. Um, so you've got these, and then um, get some besting onto the cotton, and then what you're going to do is basically swirl. Uh, let me show you what I mean here. So you're going to swirl in kind of a motion like this. You know, just kind of go like this. You know, with the besting soaked copper pad. Make sure to get in all, to all the corners and get in all the sides. And in the end, what you'll end up with is you'll end up with something that looks kind of like this. You'll end up with a sheet that is basically uh, what what happens is the best thing one of the reasons this is useful stuff in this case is it it liquefies the graphite and essentially impregnates the graphite into the into the tracing paper so that it and then it evaporates out and so the the graphite just stays in there now when you write on that when you proceed to write on this you know with another um, with say a sharp pencil or something you know you could say write your name like this and it would it would transfer it 
onto the next sheet. So you can transfer a drawing, you can take a tracing paper drawing like your Cube City for instance or your specimen reference. You can trace over it and transfer it onto a piece of illustration board. So in any case that's all there is to it. Um, now you can also buy the graphite transfer paper. <coughs> Excuse me, still a little bit sick. Um, you can tr you can purchase the graphite transfer paper, but considering that you have all the supplies you need, I would just go ahead and make one, and it's kind of a useful skill to have. Uh, these things last forever. Uh, just make sure your pencil is real sharp when you're using it, and make sure you use enough graphite. Anyway, uh, I think that's about it. Again, please be careful with the best scene and try not to uh, blow anything up. So anyway, um, the next one I'm going to do, the next... Uh, the next demo is probably going to be on light, on kind of basics of lighting and form. So I'll talk to you in a few minutes.